Ninibong, my fellow addicts, this is TFA1024, the Transformers Addict here, coming to you with a TFA mail slash live unboxing. Um, this was actually something that was supposed to come ahead of time before Christmas, so it's finally here. This is given to me by my good buddy and um, one of my, I guess, clients, I, I guess, eh, I don't know. Also, I noticed my thing is lagging really badly. I don't know why that is. That's really bizarre. Maybe it's not now. I don't know. We'll see. But this is given to me by my good buddy, Derivative Films. If you guys don't know who he is, go check him out. He is a really creative content creator. He makes a lot of funny stop motions, a lot of clever stop motions. Um, and he's working on a few things right now that I'm not going to disclose. It's not my information to disclose, but he is working on some stuff. So, but go check out his stuff. He's a really awesome guy. And he's also hooked me up with a few Beast Wars figures every now and then. And if I'm correct, I think I know what's in here. But he also threw in some surprises. So let's see what it is together. And also before I begin, um, I know I didn't do a Christmas stream this year. But that's because I, my Christmas wasn't the best. Not in terms of like I didn't get anything. It's just the main thing was it was... Christmas and holidays bring out the worst in people in some cases. Like, a lot of stress and chaos happens. So that's the main reason why I didn't make a Christmas stream. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did do one. So, while I'm doing it here and I'm only, what, four days late, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to each and every one of you out there. Hope you had a fantastic holiday season. So, let's look at... So let's see what's in here. Let's, let's go ahead and... Crack the shell and then crack the nuts inside. I probably screwed up that reference, but I don't care. So let's go and see. He packaged this thing really, really well. It didn't come in the best condition either, but I'm pretty sure everything's okay. So let's see. We're going to go up on the top. So I have my manly colored pink and purple skizzles. Oh, there it is. And let's see what I got. Okay, I'm already starting to see stuff. Alright. He really used a lot of packing tape. Skizzles come out because manpower is not going to help. Alright, there we go. Alright, seen a lot of goodies already. What did you send me, derivative? What did you send me? Okay, one thing I recognize already. Actually, a few things. This is... Oh, holy crap! <laughs> An original Beast Wars Deluxe Rhinox. I never had any interest in this thing because I have the Generations one, but sweet. Never had this guy before. It's a bit fiddly. There we go. You don't have a tail? You're a rhino. You're supposed to have your tail. Where'd it go? Take a break. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Neat. I never had this guy before. I never had any interest in him. I know he... I don't... Yeah, he does come with his chain gun. Okay, cool. So it stores in beast mode. But yeah, check it out. Cheeky little rhino dude. Again, I've been watching a lot of Theo recently, so if I use any references, that's why. Yeah, I like him. That's really cool. Alright. Uh, this one... Robots in the Sky Strong Art Paintly. Accurate Painted? Custom Painted? Ooh! Ooh! This is one that is Custom Painted. This is actually supposed to be more accurate. And I like it. Of course, I'm a simple man to please, if you haven't noticed already. Yeah, I can get behind this. This is, yeah. All right. Get her situated and fixed up just a wee bit. Nope. She's always fiddly with her forearms. Her arms in general in vehicle mode are not the best. But it's what it is. It's fine. Uh, alright. I'm gonna just try. Oh! 
and hello to... Well, I did not say hello to... Hello to Maximus. Oops. Marvelous Prime Animation, Nacho Supreme 69, Autobot Patriot and Brony, and whoever else is watching this right now. Because I can't see the rest of you guys because you haven't commented. But that's okay. Comment at your leisure. That's fine. Alright. So I now have two robots in disguise strong arms. I am the proud owner of two strong arms. One custom painted and one... That is regular painted. I am okay with that. I am totally okay with that. Who knows, maybe this custom one might make it in Transformers Union. So thank you, Derivative. You have supplied me with a more accurate looking strong arm. Nice little touches, nice little bits of silver in the areas right here and here. The bumper. Yeah, I can get behind this. Cool. Thank you. Really, really awesome. Oh, and he even picked out the thighs and nice little bits of blue plastic and those little indents. So cool. I don't I don't care if she has her weapon or not. And the rims. Rims are also painted. I don't care if she doesn't have her weapon or not. That's fine. I'm just... That's really cool. Alright, let's see. Who else? Now, a lot of these guys, because I'm, you know, I'm not perfect. What? Transforms Addict ain't perfect. Ah! Yeah, I don't know every single Transformers character there is. Oh, hello. You're a new subscriber. Computronus Prime. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the channel. Uh, hello, Storm Fury. Sideswipe 1255. And yeah. Sweet. So, all right. Uh, who do I look at next? Who do I look at next? How about we take out the ones that are loose? So here... Oh, this guy comes with his weapon! Ooh! Is it the other one? If he doesn't, that's okay. Okay, so this one, unfortunately, um, this was one that is, uh... I think I have one. Is that busted? Nope, the Hawkhead's there. Maybe it broke. Did not break! Okay, cool. Just came apart. I have no idea how to put it back together. Did that crack? No? Okay. So this, again, please correct me if I'm wrong. Cyborg, hey! Haven't seen you in a stream in a while. We haven't done a stream in a while. TFTC, man, we gotta bring that back. Uh, what's going on? Transforming norm Normality. Transformers Productions. And... Is that it? I think I just said everyone. Okay. So again, correct me if I'm wrong, because yeah, I don't know everything, but this is a Beast Wars uh, Skywarp. I know, I think his original name was Silverbolt, but then the actual Silverbolt came, and we kind of just forgot about this guy, but this is Beast Wars uh, Skywarp, because I remember in Beast Wars 2 or Neo that uh, he, he showed up, and he combined with, oh god, what's their names? He combined with Lyo Jr. and also, um, I think, I don't know if I called him Armor Hide or Iron Hide or not. I can't remember off the top of my head. Because again, the addict don't know everything. Check in the comments. TFTC for life. Yeah, I need to bring back TFTC, but I'm waiting until I get a laptop from my good buddy David. The same buddy who hooked me up with a uh, TLK Drift during, like, right shortly after I graduated high school, which was awesome. But, yeah, so. But this, I do believe, is a Beast Wars Skywarp. And unfortunately with mine, because it does suffer from GPS, um, which is gold plastic syndrome, but for some reason, I don't know. Um, one of these two pegs here that are supposed to clamp on to the Iron Eye, the Elephant, for Magnaboss broke in the actual port and I can't do anything with it so until I get like a small drill or something and I manage to get that out of there um yeah that this Skywarp the one that I have previously that's in a box is going to be used for spare parts and this one's going to be brand new so I think Prowl was no I think Prowl was the lion Prowl was the lion Ironhide was the um, 
Ironhide was the elephant, and then I do believe, I do believe this guy here was Skywarp, or it was, um, oh, you changed your name, oh, well then, good to see you, Knights of Icon, it's been a while, I couldn't tell, sorry, hi, name changes, man, they don't work for me, but yeah, I think this guy is named Silverbolt or Skywarp. I know Skywarp and Beast Wars 2, but I don't know if it's, um, I think it's Silverbolt for the U.S. release, but yeah. So, cool. Got a replacement. Thank you. Alrighty, let's see. Anything else that's loose in here? Oh, uh, there's some sort of weapon. Is this Rhinox's tail? Do I have to give Rhinox a suppository? Oh, good God, I do. Okay, we're... Younger viewers, don't watch this. Yeah, that's right, Ox Tail. Okay. We're doing this. We're giving him a suppository. This is weird. Uh, okay. So what, he's got like a tiny, tiny tail? Am I doing it wrong? It's supposed to go like this? It's supposed to go like that. Or maybe not. What is this? Huh. I don't know what this is. I think it's this his tail, because it matches the plastic. But he ain't got no bunghole. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like. God, I never had this figure as a kid. I never wanted this figure as a kid, but I would. I'll take a donation. Um. I do. Yeah, I think it's just his tail, because it's supposed to like sandwich together somehow. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. I think I got it. And then it's like, you're supposed to... Yeah, There we go, I got it! Yeah, there we go. Little, little tail makes it look like a turd hanging out of his butt, but there you go. It's weird. Beast Wars figures are weird, man. Okay, so this one is wrapped up nice and tight. God, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> We might be here a while, folks. Um, okay, so this... Who the heck... Okay, wait a minute. This guy looks familiar. And I only recognize him because of Beast Wars 2. But please, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Is this... Is this Tasmania Kid? Or... Oh, what? God, what's his name? Is it... I want to say his name is Snarl. Because I never had this guy. Ever. And then what? Wait, does this rocket go? Oh. Oh, wait. No, okay. I was about to say, I don't want to. No. I'm going to consult TF Wiki. How's everyone doing? How's everyone's Christmas? Or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever holiday you sell, uh, celebrate. I almost said sell. Alright. Beast Wars Snarl. I do believe it actually is Snarl. Yeah! I was right! The addict does know almost everything. But yeah. This is... This is Snarl. This is actually Beast Wars Snarl, who is known as a Tasmania Kid in Beast Wars 2 or Beast Wars Beast Wars Neo. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Beast Wars 2, though. But yeah, this was... This is definitely, definitely Snarl. I knew... Oh, yeah. He's pretty cool, actually. He's weird. He's a Tasmania devil, but he's cool. I don't know where his tail is. Probably doesn't have his tail, but that's okay. Or maybe he does, and it's just, like, busted off somewhere. I don't know. And I'm using my iPad to stream, believe it or not. So. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm super pumped for um, Battle Trap for Power of the Primes. Like, I knew we were going to get Duocons because those leaks, those leaks that we got a week or two before Hascon, Hasbro contacted these the Transformers blog sites and everything, and they told them, please take this down. This was not to be seen yet. They were covering their own ass because they didn't want us to see it yet, and then here we go. So all these were legit. So that only means we're going to get flywheels here very soon. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, 
He's a cute little armadillo. He's adorable. Look at that. Look at that. That's adorable. Oh, I actually really like this. Now, what's your name? Is it armadillo? Because I... Armadillo. Okay. Yeah, clever. Armadillo. Yep. Yeah, okay. I like that. That's clever. Nice. I will probably transform these guys off screen at a later, later time today. Uh, all right. Let's see. What else did he put in here? Wait. What the? Do I see Power Core Combiner stuff? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. So let's see. I have another Power Core Combiner. Leadfoot, who I like to call him as uh, Slapdash, because this dude looks pretty much like he would be Slapdash. So I have two of him now. Okay. I like it. I love this figure. He'll go over here with all of my other Power Core combiners. <laughs> but yeah, cool. Cool. And this must be the RC he was talking about with the red arm. Yep, that's... I don't know what he was doing with this, but that looks... That paint. Look at that. It's pretty cool. So that's two RCs that I, I own now. From Transformers Prime. That paint smells really strong. Good lord. Ugh. Ugh. A red arm RC. I could probably find something to work with this in a stop motion. Give her some kind of, like, purpose or some sort of reason. For all this, these things do not like to stay together, and I don't like that at all. There you go. RC. Cool. Oh, I found one of Silverbolt's weapons. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Whoa, wait a minute. What is that at the very bottom? What did you do? Derivative, what did you do? Is this an alter? Oh my god! Is this? <laughs> it's Alternator Hound! Dude! Oh man, I remember alternators. I used to have um, the dead end, the one that transformed into the Dodge Viper. And I never... I never really, like, played with it too much because I got really confused and, like, frustrated with his transformation. And I just gave up on alternators, but... An alternator as a... Dude! Dude! <laughs> Oh, that looks awesome! This is crazy! Derivative, you, you didn't have to part with this, dude! Oh my god! I feel like you gave me this because you have a... Um... I feel like you had the, the Masterpiece G1 Hound and you only got that guy for, for this purpose. Oh, I never had this figure in my life. And he looks great. Dude, I'm freaking out. This is, like, awesome. I love these unboxing videos sometimes. These surprise packages. Like, I feel like Thew. It's really cool. I'm not as popular, popular as Thew, but this is cool. I like this. And I'm not sure if I busted off that roll cage or not, but I think I might have. Or it's supposed to come out. It looks like there are screw holes. So let's just go ahead and slip those back in. Oh, those are pins. Okay. Dude, that's crazy. Thank you so much. I will enjoy him. Oh, I really wish I would save that guy for last. He would have like the big one. Okay. Um. I don't think Tasmania Kid has his tail. Or does he? Wait, who's this? Oh, another. Found another piece to um. I might... Yeah, this is... Okay, this is another one to Howl. I mean... You guys are making me doing it now! <laughs> you sent... He, that's another piece to Silverbolt slash Skywarp. And then this dude is... Is this Iguanas? Is there a Beast Wars character's name? Iguan... To TF Wiki. To Google. Uh, wait. How do you spell Iguanas? Is this Iguanas? 
This is not a go wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I love whenever I get these obscure names and I get them right every time. That's a joy. Okay, gotta get him out. Come on, Iguanas. Come, come, come out of your... Oh, you're an auto-transformer. They had auto-transformations before they were transformations. Holy crap. I think your spring is busted. I really hope your spring isn't busted. No, it's not. Okay, so how do we transform you? My little iguana dude. Oh, my little iguana dude. Okay. I think you just kind of rest. Everything kind of rests. Or maybe I am not doing something properly? Maybe? Maybe. 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 Wait a minute. I think I got it. Uh, nope. Maybe? Yeah. Uh, come on. Okay, so you're supposed to be like a frilled lizard. A frilled lizard transformer. That's really bizarre, but it's cool. There you go. Hey, little iguanas. Cool. Never had them before. Uh, ooh, I know this dude. I know this dude. I love this guy just because he transforms into like a beetle. This is Beast Wars in Shiktacon. And he looks awesome. Looks so good up in person. Look at that face! Can't see it all that well, but can I focus? No. Look at that face. It's so hideous looking, but it's so cool. Oh man. And you're also an auto transformer. You're you're a deluxe auto uh Predacon maximal thingy. I think you're a pre yeah, you're a Predacon. You transform into a bug. That was the theme back then. They, they all transformed into bugs if they were Predacons. Bugs are dinosaurs, and then the Maximals would just transform into, like, regular-looking animals, which is a pretty cool concept. It was a weird concept, but it was one that worked. It was the charm. Hey, Merritt, what's going on, buddy boy? Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Best hound is Combiner Wars hound. I can't really argue there. I mean, I like him, but uh, that, that alternator hound... Ah, oh, derivative. What did you do? Um, Marvelous, if... I mean, you can, but don't be ashamed if I have the figure already, because, like, I am still missing a few things, like Overlord. Um, pretty sure I'm missing some Robots in the Sky stuff. Uh, I got everything Titans Return, everything Combiner Wars. Well, almost everything Combiner Wars. Uh... I'm still missing Cogman and Strafe from the last night. And, yeah, I, but, I mean, honestly, if you just want to send the cash for Bumblebee, you can do that, too. But, yeah, we will discuss that on Instagram. So, how does this dude transform? Does everything just rest? Because if that's the case, it's kind of lazy, but I can kind of get behind it because it's simple. Look at that. Little stag beetle-looking dude. Stag beetle? I think it's a stag beetle. To Google! You're either a stag beetle or an elephant beetle. I'm assuming stag beetle. I know my bugs. Yeah, you're a stag beetle. I knew it. All right. There we go. Little beast wars insecticult. Oh, I don't collect masterpieces, but, um, I mean, if you guys want to send me stuff, I'll accept it with, like, no... No issue whatsoever. Just, um... If you do want to send me something, and you need to contact me, and I have to give you my address, make sure to either keep it safe or delete it, because I don't want a bunch of people to have my address in the world, and then, who knows, next day I could get a bomb in my mail. I mean, I doubt that'll happen, but you never know, especially with this year. Alright, this is... Who are you? You are... Are you Beast Wars Slapper? Or Spitter? I think you're Spitter. No. Yes? I think you are Beast Wars Slapper. But I want to make sure, so... Or Spit... No, you're Spitter. Slapper didn't come until Transformers... 
Robots in Disguise 2001. Yeah, I was right. I knew it. It was one of the two, but I remember, yeah, I remember that Slapper never showed up until R.A.D. 2001, so this is Spitor. And the best part is, I have his Transmetal version, too, so this... Evolution! Happy about this. Do they all do this auto-transforming thing? Like, all the Deluxe dudes? Because I've had two of them who've done that now. Also, hey, v Revolticon, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. So. But yeah, he's a neat little dude. Cool. It's a poison dart frog. He doesn't have any fists. Why, why doesn't he? He ain't got no fists. He's got nubs. Eh, I'm doing okay. Not too bad. Not too great, but not too bad. Okay. Um. Oh, I know this guy. Yeah, I should have saved some of that stuff for last, but I just... When you get a box and you just... Tear it open, you bump it surprise. Oh god, he lost a leg. He lost a leg and it flung across into my Combiner War stuff. Okay, you are... Get out of here, here. Did that break? Or is it a... Is, did that actually... Okay, no, no, you're good. You are good. You are... After I get your leg back in. Come in, little buggy. There you go. So you are Beast Wars. I want to either say Drill Bit or Drill Nuts. I'm going to go Drill Bit. Because I'm pretty sure Drill Nuts was something else. I'm pretty sure Drill Nuts was in Beast Wars 2. So yeah, you're Beast Wars Drill Bit. Yeah, I was right. Okay, and then... You had another figure, but I don't know if it was the same one. Was it Drill Nuts? Nope, it's just Drill Bit. Okay. Nice. I like these little Beast Wars guys. They're fun. They're weirdly peculiar, but they're cool. It's just, that's just what gives them their charm. Okay, so I need to find pegs. You have peg holes in your feet. In your legs, but then you don't have anything. Uh, hold on, what? Uh, do you have any characters that hasn't gotten any figures to appear in Power of the Primes? I don't think I understand your question. Like, do you, do I have characters that I want to see appear in Transformers Power of the Primes? No, actually, his name is Drillbit. I see a wiki. But yeah, um... See, yeah, I, Revolticon, yeah, you and me, man, or Beast Wars knowledge, it's up there, and I wasn't even born around that time. Well, wait, Beast Wars came out roughly around 1995, did it not? But I didn't get into Transformers until Transformers Armada, which was early, too late, 2003, 2004? Right? I think? No. Yeah, 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 I think so, I think so, it was 2003. Um, and to answer your question... Transformers productions. Um, there are a bunch of characters that I want to see show up for Transformers Power of the Primes toy line. Um, for example, because we're getting this whole evolution gimmick for the leader class figures, I would kill to see Star Saber from Transformers Victory in a massive US release figure. Because that would look amazing. Like, I would love to see that be a thing. Okay, I have no idea how this guy goes. The Transformers addict don't know everything. I told you this before. Don't get mad at me. Are you supposed to, like... Okay, wait. So, your legs, your little buggy legs, you go... What the hell? Uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Toaster. You go like this. Did I, did I break it? Did I do it right? See, it's weird because Beast Wars figures, they don't always have the proper parts they're supposed to have. Everything kind of just rests, and that's what I like about it for its charm. But I think that's how he's supposed to look. 
Oh, man, I would love to also see the DJD, but I know Hasbro will probably not release them because they are Transformers that um, transform into very obscure items, such as a torture chair, a literal smelting pit vehicle sort of thing, a, a grinder, a living grinder. Um, let's see. Um, Tarn would be easy. He'd be a double-barreled tank. Kaon, Kaon is the torture chair. I guess the the pet, aka the spark eater, he would be pretty cool. He'd just be a. He would just be like a beast. But like everyone else is so obscure and weird, it, it, I don't know if they'll be able to do that. I think this is how you're supposed to transform. Um, drill bit. I almost called him drill nuts again. But yeah, neat little dude. I like him. Creepy. I love my bugs though. Love, love, love bug bots. Or bug cons. Alright, let's get the box back. We only got, like, two more things, and I really wish I did save those other things for, like, wait, three more? No, two more. Okay. So the others two were, like, the most, I want to say they're the most valuable of the lot, but this is... Is this Clawjaw? A.K.A. Scuba from... Transformers Beast Wars 2. Pretty sure it's his claw though. Dude, the Transformers into a squid. Yeah, big old piece of tape. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. There we go. Yeah, I think you're claw jaw. But I don't know where those. You missing a piece? What's wrong, buddy? Is this supposed to go someplace? You're supposed to go up here? Because it looks like you're supposed to go up here. Maybe? No? Okay, no. I think it's just like your mouth or your beak or something. Can't tell. Maybe it's weapon storage. Okay. No, but I do believe... This is Beast Wars Clawjaw. Or, if you guys follow Beast Wars 2, this is Beast Wars 2 Scuba. Who apparently also has visible head syndrome, but that's okay. It's a Beast Wars figure. What are you going to do? But yeah, there you go. Beast Wars Clawjaw. Cool. My first ever squid transformer. I actually don't know where that's going. I'm kidding. Uh, very, very cool. Very weird. But very cool. I like it. Oh, uh, no, I did not. Because I haven't been to my target in a while. Because nothing new has shown up. But, um... I can't complain because... Oh, wait, you guys on YouTube never saw it yet. Yeah, um, one sec. So, my local Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, everywhere, pretty much has Power of the Primes now. And I got... These were Christmas gifts. These were early Christmas gifts. But I got Starscream, um, Grimlock, who is beautiful. Dirty looking right now, for some reason. Put your arms down, mister. Uh... So yeah, Grimlock, Swoop, Dreadwind, yeah, the Starscream is not the best. Um, okay, so this one I'll save for last because there's a story behind him. Wind Charger, uh, Slag, yeah, that's right, I said the not official name because they changed it to Slug, what you gonna do? Fight me! Oh, I'm kidding. So yeah, Slag. Jazz, who surprised me at how good he is. Beachcomber, who I love so much. He's so cool. He's beautiful. Uh, Get her out of your little stance that I had you on the Christmas tree. 
Little Slash, who's not the most impressive, but she's a fun little toy. I still like her. She's cool. Uh, am I missing anyone else? Yep. And the Prime Masters. So we have Liege Maximo with Skullgren. Vector Prime with Metal Hawk. And Micronus Prime with Cloud Burst. And I bought these guys mainly because um, I like the fact that they Hasbro somehow managed to bring back the concept of Pretenders. But I also like the fact that they merged them with the idea of Target Masters. Even if they're not guns, they can still be like melee weapons and crap. And it's awesome. I love it. I love it so much. So yeah, I got all the Power of the Prime stuff. And um, really wish I listened to people who told me not to buy Scrapnel because... I bought him in hopes of him matching better with Kickback and Bombshell in terms of plastic. Yeah, we're going to do this live. Who cares? It's my stream. But I bought this in terms of him being on par color-wise with the other plastics from the previous Insecticons that we got from Titans Return and Combiner Wars. But that was not the case. You see... While all the plastic doesn't match color-wise, it's, it's the original Scrapnel, Scrapnel um, from 2013 that came with the Reflector Target Master dude was actually closer with the other guys in terms of um, palette, in terms of plastic palette. And then I wanted to see if it would match more with the Power of the Prime Shrapnel, but... You can see that this guy is somewhat um, a bit more vibrant, but he's also a bit too dark. So it doesn't fit. So I'm giving this to a buddy. Because I have no need for it. And I'm going to keep the box in the card just because I'm a sucker for it. So. I mean, the figure's good. And if you missed out on the 2013 one, go for it. But, like, I just made a stupid purchase. Because this one was actually better. I mean... Better with paint palette. See? Look at that. It's a lot better. But hey, I got the Insecticons, so... But yeah, that's um, that's pretty much all my stuff for Power of the Primes. Now I'm just waiting for the leaders. And, um... Yeah, so... Put all you guys back. And like I said, I'm not knocking on this guy, but he is, he's a good figure, it's just, I made a stupid purchase, wrong plastic color. That was on me. And I take full responsibility and accountability. Start screaming, just go ahead. Alright. So back to the bots. But yeah, that was the whole story. But I do believe this is Clawjaw. This is a weird name. And I don't know if that's his weapon storage, if that's like the back of his mouth or something, but... Once again, we shall consult TF Wiki or Google and see what happens. Oh, the Optimus doesn't look that great. Like, the Orion packs look spot on. Like, that thing looks like it just jumped out of the cartoon. The Optimus is okay in robot mode. It doesn't, I mean, he doesn't look too bad, he doesn't look too great, but the vehicle mode... Ugh, the transformation, too, doesn't even look that good. I might actually skip on him, but I also might not because he's very much a discount masterpiece Optimus Prime MP10. And he, he just doesn't look good. But, I mean, I'll get him. Because, like, I'm the addict, it's what I do. But I just don't like the fact that... Oh, God. Just, yeah. Um, yeah, DW, I kind of just said over just a few minutes ago, yeah, you're getting the shrapnel. Because I don't want it. Receptacon, long time no see, my amigo. Um, do you leave my stash alone? Uh, I'm trying to see who else I'm missing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, looking, 
<laughs> Just looking back at your comment, Revolticon. How do you want to fight, Edgar? Put him up, put him up. Wise guy. I don't know, just stupid. How do you guys like the thumbnail for the stream? Because it's, I thought it was funny. Okay, I need to figure out where your weapon goes, or even if this is a weapon. What is this? What the hell? Okay, he has a claw blade. But what is it? Yeah, it was Beast Wars 2 Scuba. Okay. But where... Where does your weapon go? So you do just kind of... Okay. So, yeah, I think I get it. So it does just kind of stick around out here in the back. And I... I think that's how it's supposed to look. I could be totally wrong about that, but nope, that's gonna fall out. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Um, you can read the article yourself. I'm okay, I'm gonna just go on a little bit of an informational rant here. I do appreciate people asking me questions. Like I feel like important to be that guy to give you the information that you guys require in terms of like stuff that goes on through the Transformers franchise and stuff. That is kind of my job in a sense. I mean I don't get paid for it. But a lot of the questions can be simply solved by either two things. Consulting Google or consulting the articles. Because I've had a lot of basic questions asked to me that could easily be solved by Google. And I, I don't want to seem like, oh, I'm getting annoyed. I don't want to help. But like, I also kind of go like, I'm not your Google. So, but uh, just consult the article and you'll figure out the size. Uh... Trying to see what else. No, I'm not going to, like, rag on that Optimus either. He does look okay. It's also, the gray fists really weird me out. Like, I'm so used to him having blue hands. It's just... Yeah, yeah last quote of 2017. I'm not your Google. But yeah, claw jaw. Little squid dude. That's cool. I carried on this unboxing long enough. Let's get to it. And the last... Two things that I got from Derivative Films. I can't believe he pulled this off. I can't believe he did this. This, this, this beautiful, beautiful man. Praise his heart and soul. I can't believe he did this. This dude hooked me up. Oh shit, I think that snapped. Okay, hold on. I gotta figure out how to do this because I've never had this figure in my life. And I want to make sure I don't break him. I really hope to God I don't break him. You guys don't get to see him yet. It was a ruse all along. You don't get to see him just yet. Ha ha ha. Okay, I see. That's like an automorph thing. Okay, now I think you guys should be able to see him. Pretty sure of it. I don't know where these things go. I'm pretty sure they just rest there. Yeah, they're supposed to be like little bat feet. Okay. Crap. <laughs> Well, I already said it. I'm sorry for the build-up. I'm just really, really touched that he went and did this. But, my fellow addicts, when you get something of this caliber as a free gift, you don't know how to react or, like, what exactly to believe. This dude hooked me up with the first ever two Beast Wars figures. Optimus Primal, Bat Convoy, and Megatron. 
I have never wanted these things in my life. But he was trying to sell these, and he had a bunch of others that I wanted, but I never had the money for. I wonder why, but damn you, Hasbro! But, oh wait, I can't say that anymore, but... Um... Yeah. This dude hooked me up with the original two Beast Wars figures. The thing that started Beast Wars. Like, I, <laughs> I'm not trying to make it sound like everyone else, like, who has sent me stuff, like, those gifts are lesser than this. No, that ain't the case. I do appreciate that. So this is just speaking out of shock value. I never wanted these guys from the get-go. I looked at these and I'm like, are these figures that I really want? Like, because I look on eBay for Beast Wars stuff now. It's what I've been doing because I love Beast Wars. Um, and I just never got behind these guys. But then Derivative contacts me and he says, hey, I'm shipping you a box. You, you know, here's everything that's probably going to be in it. Um, and he was also selling Beast Wars figures and he said, whatever else I don't sell, you can have it. And I said, okay. And I looked back at the pictures one day and I saw a bat and a crocodile and I remember... I just remember going like, is that, and is that, are those the first two? Here they are. And I just, like, I'm just astonished. I'm really astonished. Like, it's just, it's really cool to actually get these guys. I can finally give them proper appreciation. So it's like, yeah, these guys are cool. And I like the whole automorph transforming that they had in Beast Wars. Like, these are their, these are attempts at, like, the first ever, like, one-step transformation, and it somehow manages to work a little bit, but it's weird, but, like, it's just cool. These things are just so weirdly bizarre, and they, they're supposed to be popular characters, Megatron and Optimus Primal. And then it's, it's just weird. Like, when you think Optimus Primal, you think monkey, not truck. Yeah, I, I'm doing a stupid reference thing. But then when you look at, like, you look at these particular figures, I don't think that you're supposed to... Yeah, Popped out his arm by mistake. Thank you. All right. Tough ball joints for a figure from 1995. Jesus Christ. But, like, I'm just, I'm really shocked. Like, I'm very, very appreciative of this, because I never had these guys. I never planned on getting these guys. And then, lo and behold, oh, hey, I have these guys. You want them? I'm like, I don't know who they are, but okay. Like, you give me a free figure. I'm not going to complain. This is awesome. And I do, um, your Cyclonus, by the way, transforming normality. Still to good use. Still to good use. He's, um... He is the new one that I fixed, because I took the one... I took the old one that was missing one of the uh, pieces, and I put it on the new one. So now my old one's the one that's going to be my tomb. I mean, my figure tomb, but yeah. But, like, seriously, look at this. You would not think this will be Optimus Primal. But it works. I don't know how, but it works. And it is cool. And he still comes with his two swords that are stuffed in his wings. And then Megatron, being like a crocodile or alligator. I think that's an alligator. Okay, that's a pretty cool transformation. I can't even catch it on camera. I don't think. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. So you just... Yeah, so these are like auto spring transformations. And then I think you just kind of fold everything. Uh, and then everything kind of just folds down. Okay, there's a peg there. Wait, is that a gun? Or is this a sword? What is this? What are you? Are you a gun? Are you a sword? What are you? You are a gun that can be over his head as a crocodile or alligator. Pretty cool stuff. I don't know if he even comes with weapon. Does he? Or is that the weapon? So it looks like it's supposed to plug in. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> but yeah, first ever two Beast Wars Beast Wars figures ever, ever, and I have them. I'm a proud owner of Optimus Primal, Bat Convoy, and Megatron. Crocodile Destron. I don't know what's it called. This is cool, though. Uh, hello to... Hold on, who just joined? Martimus Prime, how are you doing? You missed almost everything. And Grant Mercer slash Rubyton Prime, how are you doing? And thank you, I appreciate that you love my stuff. Really do appreciate that. I know Takara slash E-Hobby did a... Titans Return. Uh, they did a Titans Return Optimus Primal Bat Convoy from the Mind Wipe, and then they also did a uh, Megatron from, or a Megatron Headmaster that can go on Skull Cruncher to make him like this. But yeah, so I that's just really cool. Well, we've been going on for an hour almost, and I think it's time to end it here soon. Uh, hello to Angel Moon 502 how are you doing? But yeah, and I remembered a lot of the names from these guys, but I never, never had these guys in my life, but I knew of their figures' existence, so that's really cool. But yeah, so, go over the quick haul. Um, minus the other stuff. Uh, how did I open these guys in order? I forgot. I think. No. Maybe. Eh. Eh. Oh, wait. I remember. So we have Beast Wars Rhinox. Uh, Beast Wars Silverbolt, a.k.a. Uh, Prowl. Or, I mean, Sky... Skywarp. Skywarp. Oh, uh, we opened up... Who do we open up next? I think it was Tasmania Kid, who does not have his tail, unfortunately, but that's okay. Kind of looks weirder, like that. I like it. Uh, Armadillo, freaking Alternator's Hound. Uh, I want to say uh, Spitor. Oh, no, yeah, I, I know how it breaks. With the tabs that are supposed to plug in for Magnaboss, yeah, I've seen... I unfortunately was a victim. That sucks, so... Yeah, so spit or... Insecticon. Uh, and then I do believe we opened up Iguanus. Drillbit. Got strong arm and RC. Whoopsie. So I didn't go out in order. God, I didn't make an error. I'm human. I'm sorry. There we go. So, uh, red arm RC for some reason, but yeah, this is cool. Uh, and then the uh, better custom version of a robots in disguise strong arm, which I do appreciate because I'm not fond of the, the regular warrior one. I mean, I like it. This is the warrior one, but I liked it if it had more paint. Like, this thing has rims, and little silver sidebar, and the little accents of the silver that she would have in the show, and then the bumper, and um, the little indents of blue here on her legs, which is cool. So, yeah, so then... Uh, yeah, so go on a stroll bit. And... Nearing the end, Clawjaw. And then Bat Optimus Prime and Alligator Megatron. So that's everything. So he sent me a total of, if this is 17 figures, I will count this as my top 17. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah, we were three off. That's okay. So, yeah, um, Derivative, my dude, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. This was a very meaningful, very appreciative, um, late Christmas gift slash, I guess, 
somewhat payment for my voice talents, because we make a joke about that, but thank you so much for all the Beast Wars stuff. I now have more to work for, maybe for a future Beast Wars series in the future at some point. Um, I now have an alternator, which I have never touched alternators in a very long time, because I never cared for them. I tried out Dead End once, and I did not like him, because I just was too stupid and frustrated as a kid. To never really understand the complexity of how these figures work. So I will have a blast trying to transform this dude and figure out how he works again. Because I never had him. But I think I'm already starting to get the hang of it now. Yep. It's just like that one Transformers animation video. x Brown, Transform! <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> Anyone remember that? It's an old video. Uh, blew me away, man. You blew me the freak away. I am very appreciative of all this. And again, like I said, if you guys have sent me stuff in the past, I do greatly appreciate that stuff. More to the collection, you know, more sentimental value that I would never be able to part with. And it's all thanks to you. So, and if you guys do want to send me stuff, by all means, feel free to contact me and um, I'll give out my address. Just make sure to keep it safe if you want to send something else in the future, or to promptly delete it afterwards for protection. And, uh, yeah. Like, honestly, I... Who knows? Maybe I'll make a P.O. box. Maybe you guys can... Actually, we can get TFA kicking. TFA mail kicking. TFA kicking. God. But, like, honestly... Um... Yeah. Greatly appreciative of all of this. An original Beast Wars Mega Truck. We playing this game? We playing this game? Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Do you mean this Megatron? Hmm? This one's complete. This one's got his hip missile and things. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, all of this. All of this. Beast Wars stuff. I'm gonna need a bigger box. <laughs> oh, Alright, there we go. So, like I was saying, if we ever do get this thing kicking, we ever get this on the roll. Let me go the camera just down a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Um, if I ever do get a P.O. box, like I said, you guys can definitely feel free to send me stuff. I will always even leave a link or whatever down in the description down below for future videos and such, just because I I want to engage with my audience a little bit more. Like, don't get me wrong, I love talking to you guys. Uh, like, a lot. You guys keep me going each and every day. Uh, despite the fact I don't put out much content, I am sorry about that. But, there is content to be made. I will definitely work on that. I'm still trying to figure out how to transform Alternator Hound. I think it goes something like this, and then something like this, maybe? No? Maybe not? Hmm. Does he even have proper feet? Well, I feel stupid. I don't want to break this thing. I just don't want to break this thing. I'm scared. But, um... <clears throat> I keep saying, but um... Why not it? So, if we ever do get TFA mail kicking, I do get a P.O. box. Like I said, feel free to send me stuff. Old stuff, new stuff. Um... Vintage stuff. I, and, you know, fan mail, like, art of my stupid long-ass haired face and everything. You know, I, maybe channel, like, channel logos or something, if you really wanted to. I could find a way to utilize that stuff. You know, I don't expect to be anyone as good as, like, say, Thew Adams or, like, um... Optibotamus or 
other popular Transformers YouTube content creators here. And I'm totally okay with that. I'm happy just being me. And, you know, I get to do something that I love each and every day. While many other people don't really have that kind of opportunity, I'm proud to say I am one of those kind of people to have it. How the frick do you transform this? Yeah, I don't know everything, especially when it comes to transforming figures. And it's just nice to know, because we are almost nearing the end of the year. Like, it is the 28th right now. We got a few more days and then 2018. Just like that. So. But I can promise you all that you will be seeing more content. Slowly, as time progresses. I will just say that right now. Uh... There's really not much... Oh, that bends that way. That's on a... Double hinge joint, I think? No? Maybe? I think I'm doing something wrong. I don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk that at all. That's scary. I'm getting distracted. I'm going to put this down. Talk to you guys. So. Like I said, you guys keep me going. Guys and girls. Or whatever gender you um identify as. No judgment. Obviously, no judgment. I, as long as you're happy, right? so it's fine. But you all really do keep me going. And I, I really do feel bad. I do not provide content enough as I should. So I will do my best to try to get the rest of Infinite Chaos out. Or we can just say five episodes of season one and go from there. We can start Union. This is mainly up to you guys. I'm not one to really make my own decisions. I can't make my decisions by myself. I can't. Only when it comes to buying figures. When it comes to anything production-wise, nope. I can't. So maybe I will do... Oh, Merritt, you're still here. Okay, then. I gotta do what the boss says, but yeah. Um, that was a joke, by the way. So. But I will get Transformers Infinite Chaos done here shortly. We only got like three episodes. Two at most. X. Wait. I think it's no, it is three. So it's not even that much. But we will get through Infinite Chaos 2018. You'll get Transformers Union. Who knows? You might even get some Infinite Chaos in between, like mini sodes or whatever. Um, I might bring back TFA plays. And if anyone does want to add me on PSN, by all means, feel free. Autobot 1024. Leave a message whenever you send your friend request of who you are on YouTube, and I'll accept you. Uh, make sure you have GTA because I'm on there a lot. Especially with that new Doomsday Heist update on GTA Online. Mmm, I love it so much. Transforming vehicles, man. Ah, that gets me every time. I will also try my best to provide more video reviews, TFA reviews. Um, hopefully a little bit more in-depth in terms of, oh, I like this guy. I think he's really good. He could be a bit better. You know, I want to be a little bit more in-depth and just... Um, uh, cohesive with my video reviews, like, just more constructive with it, and more, more professional, I guess you could say, like, for, for a good example, uh, whenever these guys come around, I might do a double review on, these are also new acquiries, by the way, Universe, Ironhide, and then Ratchet, so, who knows, maybe we'll do some themes every now and then, double reviews, um, combiner weeks, um, maybe, like, Titanic Thursdays, every, you know, for one Thursday with from every month, if there's even a Titan out there, or like just a big figure, like anything above leader. Actually, maybe leader classes. Maybe leader classes. Who knows? That would be pretty cool. Um, you know, I'll still do like th throwback Thursdays, like figures of vintage priority and everything. Um, I am gonna do sponsor interviews, but I'm not a legit sponsor. I just talk to the guy who I go to, and I asked him, "Hey, can I sponsor your videos with some of the figures I bought at your store?" And he said, "Yeah, go for it. I'm not gonna pay you though." I'm like, "Okay, I just want to get you more recognition." Um, but for those of you who don't know, Big Red and Vintage Toys, I go there all the time. He's pretty much the sponsor. That's he doesn't pay me, but I do it out of the kindness of my heart. Um, if I want to do like Big Red Toy Store or whatever, I would, but I, I can't. And I, yeah. So, 
but you will get sponsored video reviews of like stuff from Big Red Ed Vintage Toys, and uh, maybe maybe more TFA tunes because you guys seem to really like the first one I ever did, and I am still working on a second one. Like I said, Throwback Thursdays, Beast Wars, you know, Blast from the Past. Uh, custom reviews, maybe? But I'm going to go at my own pace. I'm going to go at my own pace so I don't feel the pressure. Because I don't want to really feel like I'm obligated to make this content. But you will get Infinite Chaos, you will get Union, and that's it. No other big projects. I'm kind of canceling everything else and then working one thing at a time. I got a plan. It's set in stone. Let's get rolling on with the new year. Because there's going to be a lot of new stuff. So, there's that. But this video is dedicated thanks to my very good buddy, Derivative Films. If you have not already, please go check him out. I do voice act in a few of his things, as well as he is just a very creative content creator makes all kinds of obscure stop motions very clever stop motions he's just a really cool dude in general um I, I just thank you again for everything that you sent you didn't have to send all this but thank you so much i do appreciate it i am definitely gonna enjoy these guys because i i miss playing with my transformers i don't care what age i am i miss playing with my transformer figures it was a fun time and I think right after this, I'm going to go do exactly that. Because these are toys. That's what they're made for. Come on. No judgment. It's like judging a vegan for eating vegetables. Oh, you're eating vegetables? That's just weird. Hey, I'm vegan. No judgment. You bastard. But yeah, so I'm definitely... I'm going to look up a video review on this guy. Because I have no idea how to transform him. I never had an alternator in such a long time. Or I haven't had an alternator in such a long time. Sorry. So, you know. But like I said, there will be all kinds of content to come onto the channel. You have my word. As a human. That is not perfect. Please be gentle. And definitely probably more TFA unboxings. Because I do have some other stuff coming along the way. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys want to see it. So, yeah, there is all of that. I'm seriously going to put this down now. My PSN is Autobot 1024. I change it, but I don't want to. So. Uh, am I missing anything else? Did anyone new join? Did I feel like I neglected anyone? I do apologize if I did. Nope, I don't think so. Okay. PlayStation Network is... That's what PlayStation ne um, PSN is. PlayStation Network. It's just an acronym. I haven't gotten any new video games though yet. I might try to get, like, Star Wars Battlefront 2 or whatever. But, like I said, remember, if you have me on PlayStation Network, send me a message with who you are, and I'll reply the next time I get on. Or, I mean, I'll reply to you... I'll accept your friend request the next time I get on. But please, like, don't spam the crap out of me or anything. Um... If someone did that to me on Earth Wars and Forged to Fight, you know who you are. You probably don't watch me. You probably can't comment, but that's okay. But you know who you are. Don't do that. Just be patient. And I will definitely uh, accept your friend requests as soon as I can. But I've just not been in the mood to play video games recently. So, we'll see. We joined on long enough. I think it's time to end the video here. So, thank you all very much for joining me on this unboxing I hope I didn't make anyone jealous or envious of anything I have if I did I sincerely apologize but I'm just enjoying my stuff and I wanted you guys to just enjoy the enjoyment with me because it's fun to do unboxings like this may not be as professional as certain other YouTubes out there but who knows anyway my fellow addicts that's pretty much all I have to say in this so thank you each and every one of you for tuning in and remember if you haven't already you know what to do if you happen to enjoy this live stream, by all means, go ahead and hit that like button. If you happen to not enjoy this live stream, then hey, hit that dislike button. If you want to see more of my awesome videos here on YouTube, by all means, hit that big red follow button. Because this. I said follow button. Damn it, Instagram. Hit that big red subscribe button. Because this is the only channel where your entertainment will be transformed. 
And if you want to contact me in any way, shape, or form, by all means, feel free to look me up anywhere on social media. And please, be respectful, be appropriate, and be patient, and I'll reply to you all as soon as I can. But with all that being said, my fellow addicts, pretty much all there is to say. So, please remember, until next time, to get addicted, stay addicted, and TF Addicts, for life! This is TFA1024, the Transformers Addict, rolling out to all of our one.